All right, folks, so we're just going to do a quick beam shot comparison here. Uh, the light you can see right now is my mill that's in the background. I just left the lights on to give you an idea how low the ambient is in here. Um, so I'm going to compare a Surefire G2X Pro, which is about 200 lumens, uh, to the Alpha, which is, of course, 500 lumens. All right, so first up will be the Surefire. So this is the Surefire on low and then on high. Uh, and you can see it actually has a really concentrated hot spot, and this is going to be more focused than the alpha, but again, this is 200 lumens. Uh, and if you look in the foreground, you can see a white chair right here, and as I lift the light up, you can see the edge of the shadow, which is the spill zone. So next, when you see the alpha, you're going to see a little bit less intensity downrange, but it's going to light up the entire foreground with a lot of spill. All right, so here's the alpha. Are you ready? Boom. That is just a ridiculous amount of light. Um, and I'll, I'll move the light up again so you can see the edge of the spill. And there's just a ton of width to this beam. Uh, you can see the, the concentrated hot spot in the center. And uh, I hope it comes out as good on the camera because this is literally lighting up the entire shop, just holding the light still. That's plenty of light to go over there and get some work done. Now I know you are going to want to see the other power levels on the alpha, so I'm just going to run through uh, really quickly, low, medium, and then high. So this is the alpha on low. Uh, with my eyes, it's easy to see all the way to the back wall. It's about 50 feet away. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to come out on the video, but you can see the chair here in the foreground. Medium. Looks like pretty good illumination to me, and honestly, Medium power level is about all you need for just about anything, uh, unless you want to see really far, or if you're really outdoors, or if you just want to impress your friends with high. And again, that's just lighting up the entire shop. Uh, all right, thanks. All right, now we are going to try some outdoor beam shots. So the way I set this up, there are three trees that are about 100 feet away, uh, and we'll do the same thing with the Surefire G2X Pro at 200 lumens, and then the MC18B alpha flashlight at 500 lumens. All right, here we go. So first up is the Surefire. Uh, this is low. I can actually see quite a bit better than I can see on the screen, but I'm sort of at the limit of my camera settings. Um, so there's high. And so there's one tree, two tree, three tree. Uh, and again, as you can see, the Surefire it's a very concentrated hotspot, and this one actually has a good amount of spill as well. Uh, now we'll try the Alpha. Again, this will come on high. And uh, I think you can probably see the difference. Um, again, those trees are about 100 feet away. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm happy with that. Uh, now we will try the Alpha on low, medium, and high. We'll run through that again. So here's low. And again, you can't see very much on the camera, but again, I can see all three trees pretty clearly with my eyes, even though you can't see it. Uh, here's medium. And then we're starting to, starting to see those trees over there, and then we'll go to high again, and it's quite clear. All right, there you go. Enjoy. Okay, so I've swung the camera to the right a little bit, so in a second, on the left side of the frame, you're going to see one of those trees. Again, that's about 100 feet away. I'm going to walk out in front of the camera with the light here and hopefully give you a little better sense of the scope of the beam in terms of width and uh, also the range. I'm going to stop about halfway here uh, and I'm going to swing the light to the right and play up this hill uh, that hopefully you will be able to see a little bit. Uh, the maximum range for the alpha is about 110 meters, and that's calculated based on measuring the brightness with the uh, lux meter. Uh, and I'd guess the top of that hill is right about 300 feet, so I think we can actually hit that mark pretty easily. And again, I'll swing to the right once more. And hopefully you'll see that beam going way up the hill. All right, we'll call that good. Thanks.